All right, Soviet combat sloth here. And uh, it's been a little while since I've done one of these, but this is another Asian grocery haul from this time, SayWe.com. Yeah, I never ordered from them before. America's largest online Asian supermarket. Wee! But yeah, I wanted some stuff that I had somewhere in the Philippines. And uh, I figured I'd just give this place a shot. There's a few things, quite a few things in here I've ordered that are uh, like I had never had before. Like, I'll just open this box up real quick. I think I'll take it off camera. Yeah, I'll take it off camera slightly. And uh, then we will have a little more room right here to actually show everything. Just give me a second. Ooh. It only, today is December 4th, I believe. It only took three or four took like four days for this stuff to get here actually too this bag is also from say we this is from the same order but this bag came the very next day after i ordered like it was just the very next day um because this was stuff i guess they had locally available and the rest of it had to be shipped but we'll get into this bag first i suppose we got some interesting stuff. Pillows. Ube filled. They call them crackers, but it's like, it's more like, I wouldn't call it a cracker, I don't think. I've had these before, but I've had the chocolate ones. I had those in the Philippines. and But I never had the ube filled ones, so I got some ube filled ones. These are really good. Well, I don't know about these, but the chocolate ones are good. Got two packs. Um, what else did I get? Oh, this is ube porridge. Like oatmeal type stuff, porridge, you know. Ready in minutes, but it's ube, purple yam porridge. Natural flavor. But yeah. I tried some of the, uh, I wanted to be nice to my daughter over there. And... I figured she was sick of eating rice in the morning or something. So I got some chocolate porridge from the uh, grocery store down the road from the house. And man, she hated it. But me and the wife, we thought it was okay. Like it just wasn't real chocolatey. So I don't know. Then I got two bags of this. Get out of here. Ni Mong Wan. Chicharron. These are actually uh, like pork rinds, but these are no pork. And I guess that's maybe salt and vinegar flavor. I don't know. There's, these are really good, though. Um, dehydrated green peas and stuff like tapioca starch, dehydrated potatoes. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, like pork rinds, but no pork. Got two of those. Oh. And, uh, so noisy. We'll get into the box. Oh, you're going to see a reoccurring theme here. Wachow! Ube hotcakes, like pancakes. Like, I don't know. I like ube. And a lot of this has caught my eye and caught my interest. And I really wanted to try it. And, uh, yeah, so... I was like, hell yeah, ube pancakes. I might have to try that. You know, there's a little recipe on the back. You can make some ube cupcakes. Yeah. I'm going to wake up with the king or something right there. Flapjack king. Well, yeah, ube. Um, what else do we have? Hoo-yow! Regent Japanese Cheesecake. I've had the Regent Ube. I've had the Regent Chocolate. I've had the Regent, uh, I think it's like the Buko or the Coconut or something. Uh, I don't know, the Green Bag variety. I can't remember. 
what that one actually is. Uh, but cheese, yeah. I figured I'd give it a shot. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. But yeah, made in the Philippines. Yeah, I like the Regents stuff. Like the chocolate and the Ube Regent cakes are, they're not like uh, super sweet. Then again, yow! Regent Pandan, Pandan cake. I did not have these, I don't think. So uh, yeah, I figure I'll try it. Luscious Pandan flavor wrapped in a light, delectable sponge cake. Yow! Proudly Pinoy. I'm probably being a real Pinoying right now. <laughs> now, but yeah. Philippines, man. It's like my new home. Love that place. I had to get some of that. Um, what else did I get? Oh, shoot. <sighs> I could have probably got this anywhere, like my buddy said too, like any kind of grocery store. But I seen it on the website, and I got some adobo savory sauce mix because I like me some adobo. Yeah, if you haven't had adobo, I'd recommend it, and just like. If you go on Say We, order these. They're like $1.79 or something. I can't remember. but uh, Or just go to your local grocery store and they'll probably be in the, uh, either the international or like the uh, Spanish aisle or something. You'll probably find some adobo. Boom. Actually, where's my knife? Because they've given me like a big old mess here. Not really. But um. Yeah, they wrapped this stuff good. Yo! What is that? Ube cookie butter. It said that you could actually put this on, like, pancakes, cookies, like, bread, different things. Like, I guess whatever you want. Like, I don't know what the hell cookie butter really is. Here's the uh, ingredients. But, um, yeah. Refrigerate after opening. Maybe you can make some sense out of whatever we got going on here. But yeah, I was like, whatever, I want to try it. Sounds like it'd be cool. Give it a shot. And I got some regular banana ketchup, banana sauce. Like, this is just regular flavor. Um, like locally and everything, like I keep getting, I wish I can get the UFC and like the, the red bottle, but I cannot find it. So, um, I don't know. I'm stuck getting the, uh, Jufron or something. Hmm. But usually I get the, uh, like locally and stuff. I'll get the, uh, the green bottle of banana sauce. And that's supposed to be Tommy Song Hong, like, uh, it's like the kind of like the sweet and spicy version and uh like i just wanted some of the regular banana ketchup so i got two bottles of that shaboosh and um and the thing that i'm most excited for i wish i could have got the big big bottles but shaboosh boosh pakari sweat this stuff kept me alive over there <laughs> Because my stomach was so messed up, like, uh, just, I don't know, I, my stomach was messed up. Like, I was in the bathroom, like, every day, like, multiple times a day, <laughs> like, dehydrated and all that stuff. Like, I guess, just traveling, like, I don't know. Like, I didn't, I drank a lot of bottled water there, but this stuff is, like, Gatorade or something, but I think it's better for you. Here's the nutrition fix. The bottles are a little different, though, because, uh, like, they had two different SKUs on there or something. Like, I bought two bottles, and then I tried to add more to the cart, and it said, uh, you're at your limit, too. And then I, like, one was three seventy nine, and then I seen another one for three forty nine, and I was like, why are they different? And then, uh, 
it let me add two of the different ones to the cart. But then I got the reading on there. And uh, it's just like when you're over there in the Philippines. Like, sometimes you find the one that's made in South Korea. And some of them are made in, I think, uh, Taiwan or... Where is it? Where is it? Or could it, I think it's Thailand, yeah. Yeah, Thailand, I'm pretty sure. One of them's from Thailand, one of them's from South Korea. This must be the South Korean one by the looks. Yep, made in Korea. Shaboosh. But I got two of each because they had a limit. Like, you could only get two of each. And then also, because I love Picari. Because that stuff is amazing. Um, I got these packets. So these things are like $3.79 and $3.49 or something. This thing was, I think, like $13 or something. But, uh, I think it'll make quite a bit. Box got a little beat up. Because these are rolling around in there beating this thing up, though. But, yeah. It's, that stuff was the it was developed by Otsatku Pharmaceutical Company in Japan. So, uh, sounds good. Like it sounds like it'd be they'd know what they were doing if they're a pharmaceutical company. Well, I don't know about that sometimes, but uh, yeah, I love Pokari. This is like thirteen bucks. I imagine it'll make quite a bit though. One stir thoroughly one packet of Picard sweat and one liter, thirty three point eight ounces of water. So yeah, but I had to get this too because the limit with the bottles. Uh, but yeah, this sayweed.com, It seems like their prices are real reasonable. Like all of this stuff was all of it was like seventy four dollars like shipped, which seems like a lot, but for like uh. You know, like specialty stuff like Picari and some of your different Ubes, like just all of it really. But, you know, for specialty groceries that you're not going to order like every freaking month, maybe like uh, it's worth a little bit of an inflated price, I guess, to me. Because it's just like some of the stuff like I don't see Picari locally. Like I don't hardly see the like I haven't seen any, even this brand like uh I have I've only seen the spicy um banana sauce like locally. And uh I can get these. I can get these locally, which is I think they're a couple like I think they're a little bit cheaper on uh say we. So and some of your pillow things like that and the pancake mix, like like I just don't see that stuff in the local shops that I've been to yet. And um but anyways pretty happy with this order it shipped quick and like i'd give say we a thumbs up boy and uh soviet combat sloth is signing out